sometimes an adventure is closer to home. We are here about two minutes from where our home is and uh, where we found hidden a little uh, chapel, um, like a whole story of uh, the crucifixion of Jesus. Um, we'll show you uh, Rosletna or a lookout tower as well as an airplane inside a little village. What? Is that Jesus? Where? Over there. So, although we're not Catholic or anything, um, you can see it by the sun rings around the heads of these people, but there appears to be a whole story about the crucifixion of Jesus, and we're actually starting it in reverse because we're walking from a different way, but this stage they've taken Jesus off the cross you can already see the wound on the side from the spear and there's another one down there which shows how they prepare him um, I do believe that was his mother um, and later on you'll see that there's a cave uh, which represents where he was buried in That's, a, that's not really Jesus, and this is just an image. And we know that we can't make images of Jesus because it's written in the commandments. But I guess from a story point of view, that would represent Jesus, right? And this is him after he's given up the ghost, when he said, it is done, it is finished. Here they uh, obviously nail uh, Jesus to the cross. And here they, uh, I guess the soldiers mock him and tear off his clothes. Or actually they get him ready for the cross to be crucified. Here is probably just an extended scene of uh, then putting him down on Mount Golgotha before they wrap off his clothes next to his cross. I think. Ailey! Ailey! Where are you running to? Can you tell the people? What is that? A story? Be careful, it's slippery, darling. And here's a scene where. I think, uh, I'm not sure if, if I remember the Bible verse correctly, but somewhere uh, either some woman talks to him or uh, while he's carrying his cross, or it might be his mother. Um, I would have to go and look it up, but yeah, that's a story it tells. The bad guys are hurting Jesus. Oh, such bad guys, right? Jesus. Think the angels will? Yeah. And I guess this is the part where one of the guys um, along the road actually helps Jesus carry the cross. Simon, I think. Simon. Well, I'm not too sure what his name was. We need to have a look, but it looks Jesus. like it's this. Simon. Yes, yes. So here you can see more. Another one, another one, another one, another one. What? Here they uh, asked Jesus to plead his case, obviously. And then all the Pharisees were uh, talking against him. And now I'm making my way towards... <coughs> What I think they were trying to do, represent the rich man's cave where Jesus was uh, uh, buried in, over here. Um, because inside of this is a little, uh, I guess, uh, statue 
with a uh, representation of Jesus, I guess, because you can see the mark in his ribs. And I guess that is to represent his resting place before, obviously, um, he rose, rose from the dead again. Obviously, my wife's doing some stuff for Instagram at the same time. Just so you know, this is how we do it. And while we're at it, apparently, this guy, uh, who is called Aloisi, uh, what? Madrovi, is the founder of the town where we're in. I think, maybe not, maybe he built this you know, little chapel thing here in 1897, I don't, I can't recheck that well, so um, that's what it looked like they also have a little place for you to chill here uh, in the summer I guess, so you can have your I don't know, picnic type thing here, there's a little toilet and uh, you see there's some firewood there and here's the pit. The barbecue. Where you can what? In the barbecue. Yeah. Maybe next time. And sing around the fire. Uh, maybe not like that. <laughs> Are you comfortable? <laughs> Are you comfortable? I guess he can't respond. Here's some statue thing. And uh now we'll make our way to the chapel. <clears throat> this is probably Catholic, I think. And you you heard me mention earlier, Jesus had that sun ring around his head. That 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 actually occurred. Or well, that the reason for that is uh, during 329 A.D. when the Christian and pagan empires, oh sorry, religions were merged by decree of Emperor Constantine, I think it's 329 AD, it might be a little bit earlier or later. Um, as a result of him seeing the cross on the battlefield, he says, uh, maybe he realized that the Christians were becoming a bit of, you know, of a problem for him and that they, he needed to do something so they don't overthrow him, I don't know. And so all of those pagan gods and, and things uh, that they worshipped, they became you know, St. John, St. Peter, and, and all those type, different types of people, and the image of Christ, obviously, with the sun behind their head, because they were also sun worshippers. Interesting fact. You don't have to believe me. Have a look in the history books. You know what I found here? What did you find? I wore this jacket uh, one year ago, and here's this Ukrainian... Homemade Ukrainian fruit snacks. Pastilla, yeah. Which is Basic. What's this? This is like it's lemon. It's ginger, lemon, apple, uh, honey, and cinnamon. Wow. Mom, it's a try? healthy sweet. Can I try? Yeah. And now? Now we're gonna try to find our way to Rosvidna, because last time we couldn't get to any Rosvidna. Maybe this time we'll find some. What's the Rosvidna? Uh, look, look point. Look out tower. Look out tower. If it's even open. Yeah. We'll we heard see. there's one, so we'll see. I would like to tell you a little bit more about, uh, or we would like to tell you a little bit more about our uh, menu for New Year. And uh, it involves something that I love really, really much. Well, usually it's some piece of meat and some salads and uh, sandwiches, but our main course will be a Ukrainian dish called Pelemeni. Pelemeni. And what is a Pelemeni? <laughs> it is basically a piece of dough on the outside with some meat, uh, you know, seasoned meat and w with whatever you like to put in there. Traditionally, Ukrainians have what in there? Uh, like beef or chicken or whatever you prefer. And the closest that you might know to this type of uh, dish is called a uh, dumpling. Um, 
But I think also in Poland they have something called pierogi, which is exactly the same thing. Yeah, and in Russia they have as well pilimeni and vareniki, which is... And vareniki is? With, with potato or kapusta, which is ca cabbage. And that doesn't really have meat in. So at the end of the video, we're gonna show you a little bit our process of making pilimeni for a new year. Stay tuned. Turns out that the Rosletna is still quite far away, a long walk, so to save time, we've turned around, we'll show you something else, and then maybe we'll drive there. Um, as you know, we are adventure family, and we don't take an easy route, so we are taking some shortcuts, shortcuts, and we don't know where it's gonna take us, and if we'll get back to the car. <laughs> Hopefully we're not gonna get lost. Seems like our daddy found the exit. Yes, daddy. There, daddy. <laughs> and your husband. <laughs> and as you uh, exit, you exit into the lovely little village. And there's some uh, pastures here, there's some houses there, and then there's a local town church. As usual, my wife is a monkey, eating stuff that I would normally avoid and I don't even know what this is. What are you that's eating? A, that's Show a me. rose bush and this is after Rosa. Mom, they have can I try? Mom, can I try? Nice inside. Can are I you try? normal? Are you okay? I'm just, are the you supposed to be eating that? <laughs> the juice is like sweet and sour. Is it normal to eat it? Can I just try yes. it? Tell us in the comments if you um, know about if it's okay to eat that. <sighs> Who owns like a, a fighter jet, uh, like, and puts him puts it in their village yard? No, I've I've personally never seen this before. Must have been during the Soviet times or something anyone knows what kind of plane this is without the wings obviously please tell us in the comments if you know what kind of uh, plane this is fighter plane obviously i assume something about that nose would give it away we had to skip uh, rosalidna for today because it got so misty there would, wouldn't be no point for us to go there and see only mist so we're gonna have to do this on another day Like we said last time, we have our tree ready finally to show you the one that we picked up from this uh, local business. I think we've got a local reindeer here or something. Can't see. They can see you. We have that little star at the top and all these decorations here. I think it looks pretty, pretty good.
subscribers so uh, as you saw from the the um, bit of a time lapse we created this lovely dish and um, we're gonna enjoy it and uh, this is just a try out for a new year and as you can see Haley has some mommy has some I have some and uh, we would like to wish you all a very happy festive period new year and all the success and blessings that uh, you know you could possibly hope for or pray for no problem. happy new year